then just wait, have it all set up off stage, and then bring it on to the piano. Okay, great.
All right, good evening, sports fans. Welcome to Fulton Street Collective. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Hey, they're clapping in the lobby. Got two bands for you tonight. Uh, joining us later will be the John McNamara Organ Trio. Uh, as we do with all of our performances here, always accompanied by a visual artist. Tonight's visual artist, our old friend, downtown Melanie Brown. Give it up for DTB. Uh, she'll be painting and sketching the band as they perform, and will be putting her work on the Blaster for you guys watching at home. You can buy her artwork in the lower left-hand side of your screen. That's the virtual tip jar. Please be get kind and generous and very cool to the band and to cool to the artist. It's a uh, Wednesday night, which is tipping night in Chicago, so dig that. All right, we're going to start the uh, show because we're all here. On bass tonight is Katie Ernst. On piano, Wes Diedzik. And leading the crew tonight on drums, Jameson Scriber. This is the Ernst Diedzik Scriber Trio. Enjoy the show. Thank you. 
Thank you for listening. You're listening to Wes Dizek on the piano, and that's Katie Ernst on the bass. I'm Jameson Scriver on the drums. We are playing a selection of songs that we picked out for you tonight. They're mostly original uh, songs you heard first. Uh, Wes Dizek's song, Shifty, and then we just played a song called Uptopia, um, and that is based on a wonderful, happy place that Katie has played music at. <laughs> All right, the next one we're going to play is called Letter From Home. This one is the only one that's not original. This is by Pat Metheny. And think about somebody you might write a letter to on this one.
the song I wrote for Wes. It's called The Good Genie.
All right, we're going to play one of mine now. This is a song called Sitcom Opening Credits, and um, we hope you laugh.
right, let's keep the uh, applause going for the band here. That was pretty gosh darn cool. Katie Ernst, Wes Dietzik, Jameson Scriver. Uh, that's the end of band number one. We got band number two, the McNamara uh, organ trio joining us momentarily. Uh, if you're in the house, we're gonna turn the lights, grab a drink, take a look at the artwork. Uh, take a look at Melanie's work, which is right over here. She's gonna be posting it on the blast door momentarily. If you're watching from home, it's that perfect time of the night to tip the band. Lower left hand side of your screen. Don't be a stiff. Tip the band. All right, we'll see you in about 15 minutes. Let's give it one more time for the band.
Okay, we're back. Welcome to set two, band two. Give a warm welcome to the stage playing guitar tonight, Joshua Johnian. <laughs> On the organ, Alikio Lyonikis. And on drums, leading the crew tonight, John McNamara. This is John McNamara, organ trio. Enjoy the show. Thank you. 
What is going on, cats? How is everyone? So, welcome to Fulton Street Collective. I, uh, before I go on, I want you all to give a hand to the Jameson Scriver, Wes Diedzik, and Katie Ernst Trio Collective. They put on a wonderful show, and I am forever grateful for them to uh, come out and hang and just show everyone what they got. So, that was really cool. So. Uh, we are the John McNamara Organ Trio. Obviously, I'm John, right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, on the organ, we got Aleko Lion Nikus. Please give him a round of applause. <laughs> on the guitar, we have Mr. Joshua Johnian. So uh, that first tune we played, it was a Miles Davis tune uh, called Solar. The tune we, we just played, it was uh, called On Green Dolphin Street. Um, I forget who the composer is, but I know Miles also did make it f famous. Um, we are going to continue on with a beautiful ballad, Body and Soul. So I hope you guys enjoy. Well, this is our rendition of it, so. Thank you. 
So yes, that was Body and Soul. How did you guys like it? Yeah? yeah? Okay. <laughs> Josh didn't know that one. He learned it on the car right here, by the way. No. No, so uh, just to give you guys a little idea on why you are here, why I called you all here, um, I just released a record. That's, that's pretty cool, right? So, so what this evening is for, it is to celebrate my new record. It's called Decision at the Crossroads. Um, and before I go on, I just want to kind of talk a little bit why I called it that and why this record is so important. So um, for the longest time musically, I kind of didn't really know where I fit in this musical world. So I kind of went through all these like like roads and like, like twists and turns and just really figuring out what I wanted to do. I went to college, I did some classical work and you know, that was cool, but then I realized there really isn't any work in it. So, I mean, and then, you know, I joined the military, did 10 years, I'm getting out in April. Uh, please clap your hands, because it's been a long 10 years. <laughs> Um, and, you know, I really didn't know what I wanted my life to be musically. And <laughs> so uh, during, during the lockdown, I had the uh, great fortune to be over in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. And for two reasons why it was great. One, it was, it's Pearl Harbor. It's just gorgeous year round, right? And then two, we were locked down. I couldn't go anywhere. So what I did was I took advantage of my time and I just contacted all of my heroes. Uh, you know, those who know me uh, know that my teacher was Ralph Peterson. He recently he passed away a couple years ago and he left a really big, um, really big impression on my life and kind of got me on the path where I was, where I'm heading on right now. There was a lot of other people in my life that have led me that way and I'm just uh, name a few. Uh, so we got uh, Kenny Washington, Ari Honig, Charles Owens, wow, and then um, did I say Joe Farnsworth? Yes, Joe F Farnsworth. So, uh, and you know, they kind of got me on this path. And before the lockdown, I was able to get into the recording studio back in New York with some New York musicians. Um, I don't think they're watching but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna shout, I'm gonna give him a sh shout out. Ian Howells and uh, Maddie Kahn, those are the musicians on the record. Uh, wonderful, wonderful people. So, uh, decision at the crossroads for me is that means that at 31, I finally got my shit together. <laughs> So, yes, that was a long-winded, like, kind of road, but here we are, and you're going to listen to me talk um, some more. <laughs> so this next tune we're going to do, it is a brand new tune. It is not on the record, and this is a very important tune. And uh, I wrote it for my brand new newborn niece, her name is Kaya, and I'm pretty sure she's not watching. But I know her. <laughs> but uh, but I know her parents are. Well, she's not watching because she's like two months old, man. Like, <laughs> come on. So, uh, Robbie, Pre, I love you all to death. Please give Kaya a kiss. This song is for her. Thank you. 
Isn't that a pretty tune? I, I'm a really good writer. <laughs> uh, enough of the narcissism uh, for tonight. Um, so we got time for a couple more. Um, but there's one more. There's a person I actually forgot to mention in my long talk before Kaya. So I would like to give a shout out to Christopher Brown over in Portland, Oregon. He was my first drum teacher and uh, he taught me a lot more than drums, a lot about life and uh, he means a lot and I hope you're doing good, man. I will give you a call. So this next tune we're gonna do Hey, uh, how much more time do we got? All right, cool, whatever. All right, um, so let's do Nobody Else But Me. All right, so this is Nobody Else But Me. Let's keep the solos kind of short just so we could do the last tune. No promises? I'm docking your pay. No. I'm kidding, I'm not me.
before we play our last tune, I just want to say thank you all so much, so much for coming out. Please give one more round of applause for Jameson Scriver, Wes Sick, and Katie Ernst. We are the John McNamara Organ Trio. I am John, Josh on the guitar, Aleko on the organ. Now, before we play our last tune, there's one more person I would like to give a shout out to. Very important person to me since I moved here. His name is Jimmy Be Bennington. Wonderful percussionist. He was gonna be here, but something happened. He's gonna tell me later, so. <laughs> he better have an excuse. He better have an excuse, oh my goodness. Anyway, so, um, like I said, I have a record out. It's called Decision, on, uh, Decision at the Crossroads, and it's available on all streaming platforms. You can also get it on Bandcamp. Personally, I'd rather you get it on Bandcamp because the more money comes to me. But eh. Anyway, so this last tune, it's called When Will the Blues Leave, and it's by Ornette Coleman. And before we play, I want to give a shout out to the Fulton Street Collective crew. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you so much, M Melanie. I didn't see how you painted me. I hope you made me look good. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, when will the blues leave? Uh, I appreciate you all coming out. Thank you. 
Please give a hand for Josh, Johnny, and Aleko, Lai, and Nikes. I appreciate you all coming out. All right, Kevin Gordon, John McNamara, Oregon Trio, everybody. Uh, that's it for tonight. If you're in the house, we're going to turn on the lights, uh, take a look at all the work around here, take a look at Melanie's work, who's cranking it on paints and brushes. Give it up for Melanie. We're back here tomorrow night with the Andrew Lynn Trio and Christopher Sanchez Quartet. Tune in then for those tuning in tonight. Uh, you can still take care of the band. Yes, you can. Lower left-hand side of your screen, the virtual tip jar. Don't be a jack bag. Tip the band. Words of wisdom, my friend. All right. We'll see you tomorrow night. Hang out. Be cool. We'll see you later, guys. Give it up one more time for the band. <laughs>